Alright, what is going on guys? It is Axelax, I'm bringing another video. So today we are playing some Call of Duty World War 2 and I'm actually going to be showing you guys a little bit of something that I've like learned over the years and uh, it, it's really helped me out, so hopefully it'll help you out. So, mainly, okay, before I get into it really quick, just let me, let me rant, okay? You're already watching the video, so you might as well listen, okay? So, basically with the Call of Duty community nowadays, everybody's just so focused on getting like the best gameplay in the entire world, which... I don't know it I mean it's nice seeing other people getting you know 40 to 50 plus kills in one team deathmatch but then again like if everybody's doing it it gets old so yeah you can you know you can get these huge gameplays and everything but I mean once you post them too much it's just like I don't know maybe it's just me other people do like seeing people get shit on in pubs I don't know I just think there's a standard nowadays with um with Call of Duty and like the YouTube community in general so I'm just gonna kinda do me kinda show everybody like uh, tips and tricks and like how to get better at the game just so the the people that want to actually have those high kill games or uh, drop those nukes or anything they can actually do it through watching videos where people just like actually teach them the ways instead of watching people do it rather than you know learning how to do it you know what i'm saying so i don't know that was my little rant so let's just get into it okay so today i'm gonna teach you guys two things okay now these two things might sound the exact same but then again they're completely different yeah it, they're only different in their own way so let me first off by uh telling you what they are so the first one is aim and the second one is accuracy so honestly they do sound like they're supposed to be the exact same thing which they're in the same category like obviously aim and accuracy like it's you know aiming down sights and then your accuracy while you're shooting the person so the difference is exactly this okay so the difference is aim is basically how fast you can get onto the target okay every single time that you aim in you're on the target that's aim okay accuracy is depending on how many times you actually hit that target so today I'm gonna actually show you a trick on how to improve your aim and also how to improve your accuracy so let's do this shit so first off let's start with aim now I don't know when you started playing Call of Duty I have no idea but I started playing in Black Ops 1 and I'm pretty sure every Call of Duty before it had this in it so if you look on my screen right here, I'm going to go into a little bit of a darker corner. You can see these four crosshairs that are like in like a plus shape kind of looking thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you place the top one over the person, the right one on the, on well, it would be their left side, but like facing you, it would be your right side. And then the left one on their right side, your left side. And then the bottom one just under them, just under where their crotch would be and you aim in that's dead chest no matter where they're at if you are this close and you have your crosshairs lined up well, obviously like when they get closer the crosshairs are going to be like a little bit more like concentrated you see what i'm saying so this person is closer up so like obviously you have like more of a chance like if it's off a little bit not that much if it's off a little bit you can still you know hit them but it's not it's not going to be dead center but this person way down there, if you put your crosshairs one above, one under, one to the right and one to the left, you're literally, it's every single time. It's dead chest every single time. You just have to be able to get used to it. That's the biggest thing with aim, honestly. Now, accuracy, that's a whole different story, okay? Every single gun has a different kick. No matter what gun it is, what category, it has a different kick. So... If you really want to improve your accuracy, you can come into this little headquarters thing really quick. Go to this little board. Aim at the 10, and then I, I understand, like, every gun has its sway also. But if you aim it at the 10 and then shoot without using your thumbs on any of the sticks, you see that this PPSH just barely, like, barely jerks off. <laughs> jerks off. <laughs> barely <laughs> kicks off right and then, like, goes up. So if you... If you hold it down and left just the, the tiniest bit, you will be able to maintain the kick. So here's what, I'm, here's what I'm saying. So this is me without my thumbs on it. 
see how it just jumps up completely. Alright, so now this is me with my thumbs on it. It does still have that little bit of kick and I didn't I didn't control it with the left, I just did it with the down. So now I'm gonna do it with the left and down. See? Now it, if you just get used to it so it goes it goes up and right, right? So now I'm gonna do no thumbs. It's just gonna keep kicking and kicking and kicking. Now, thumbs just only down though. Now thumbs down and left. It's so, it's so much easier to just like maintain if you know exactly how the kick is gonna be. So let me show you really quick with another gun, uh, just because every gun does have a uh, a different recoil pattern. So this is the uh, WAF. This thing you already know. This thing shoots super fucking super fucking fast. So just aim it at the ten. Okay, so. It, right away here we'll we'll do that one more time so right away it jumps off left and then goes up okay so it'll jump off left and then go back right and then go left up so if you just hold it down and then basically if you hold it down and hold it to the right a little bit it'll it'll maintain but this is kind of like a bad example just because it well i don't know that was kind of laser beam right there not gonna lie yeah, if you just hold it down and to the right, it's perfect. Absolutely. Well, okay, that was a little bad. But, you know, let me try to get another gun really quick. Um, type 1. Actually, the Type 100 has, like, absolutely zero kick anyway. So, just aim it in, and it kicks up into the right. Just the tiniest bit to the right. But, like, that's the easiest controlling recoil I've ever had. <laughs> the Type 100 is actually really good. So that's basically it, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get a couple clips for you guys showing you uh, exactly, you know, how to use it in-game. Um, there's also, like, other situations where it's just situational awareness, and that's not even, like, improving your aim or improving your accuracy. That's just improving your game as a whole. I'm going to continue. This isn't really going to be, like, a series, but it's basically going to be just, like, me teaching you how to play the game a little bit better, and it's going to, you know... Uh, it's gonna go on into other Call of Duties also or other first-person shooters. So I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, Leave a like comment subscribe if you're brand new and I'm gonna leave you guys to the clips just get three down and Dude look at this like You're gonna tell me I belong in this division after that play right there? play inside a hill I got this cut off bro just go just go I got Hard this cut is in enemy hands. Hard point is secure. Bomb ready. what the fuck and he just went large point. for his squad fucker bro <laughs> Like, come on. Dropping A's on bomb. New hard point. Flush out the enemy. Artillery ready for orders. Waiting coordinates. Look at this. Dude. Ran out of bullets. Dude, if we come back in this, one coming mid. Are you fucking naded? Get the fuck off me, kid. You go.